When the person clearly looks like they can't take care of themselves well, um, uh, there's there's a standard four questions that we'll usually ask somebody to see if they're if they're oriented and it's their, if, if they know their own name, if they know where they are, if they know the time or date, and then if they know what they're doing, like I'm at a party or you know we're playing beer pong or whatever it is. If they and if they can't answer any one of those questions, then for whatever reason we'll classify them as as. Um, an altered level of consciousness and that that is a true medical emergency and, and they'll need some form of a, a, intervention whether it's something as simple as an IV or, or hospitalization. Okay, oh. oh my god. David. David. Get up, man. David. Oh. How much when you eat Berkeley Street and my friend is unresponsive. He's laying on the ground and I'm pretty sure he has David. alcohol poisoning. Oh. David. I need oh. help. I need an ambulance here. Please. Can you hurry? Be very clear, stay on with the dispatchers. Uh, the first, they usually ask you a couple questions. First would be, what's the nature of your emergency so they know whether to dispatch police, fire, ambulance, or any combination. And then after that, they're gonna want very specifically your location. So try and be as clear as you can. And then some people feel comfortable intervening because it might be a family member or some close friend or somebody that they're not afraid to get hands on with the person. Um, so if, if you're comfortable helping out in, in a benign fashion, Please feel free. Uh, all that we ask is is uh, you kind of obey by the Hippocratic Oath. As long as no matter what you're doing to the person, you're gonna what your actions are gonna cause no further harm to the person. So just take keep that in mind. Is is the patient's safety.